buddies. So another technical video, the series continues. So I have been asked this a million times. That is, Vikas, should I fill air or should I fill nitrogen in my tires? All right. So there are quite a few myths about it, but I'll not go into myth breakers. But I will let you know simple pointers. Number one. If there is an opportunity to fill nitrogen, please fill only nitrogen. Do not fill air. Why? Why am I saying this? Because remember, let us get to the most important point. That is when you fill air into your tires. All right. We need to top them up at least once in about 20 odd days. Why? Why is that? I'll let you know. But if you fill nitrogen, your air pressure can be intact for well over two months also. Okay. Now, how is that possible? Because when we fill air, air is a mixture of many gases. Correct. Of course, it would be almost 70% nitrogen, but it's a mixer, mixture of many gases. Now, the molecules of that air are much smaller than the molecules of dedicated nitrogen which would be filled into your tires so with smaller molecules what we generally think now my tire doesn't have a puncture anywhere the valve valve stem is fine but how does the air go down what do you think you know can you believe this that the air actually slowly leaks out through the tire i mean actually through this tire the rubber okay because the molecules are much smaller of air compared to nitrogen the air slowly starts to leak and that is why after a month you see the air pressure dropping so if you are someone who likes to have your air pressure intact and if you don't like to make repeated visits to the fuel station or you know top up your air pressure then i recommend that fill nitrogen because nitrogen molecules are much bigger so that way the passage of nitrogen through the tire would be much lesser and the pressure would be intact for much longer now when we are filling air remember we are even sending out i mean we are even sending in moisture okay along with the general compressed air and not just moisture also remember air would have oxygen in it okay so with oxygen what can happen is that it can corrode your rims yes now this is an alloy rim okay now imagine if my rim would have been a steel rim in that case moisture and air together can corrode can form rust onto the inner part of my motorcycle rim but if you fill dedicated nitrogen that would not happen i mean it would prevent corrosion from forming onto the motorcycle rim third now if you are someone who likes to do fast rides and especially during summer time there is a big issue again now air if for example i have filled 30 psi okay inside this tire and on a summer afternoon when it's already 40 to 43 degrees celsius and the surface is boiling hot if i take my motorcycle motorcycle out for a ride and go for a fast ride the temperature of the air inside uh, increases rapidly and with the temperature the 30 psi that was there inside would bump up to 32 33 34 i don't know how many psi so that would cause your tire to become too stiff your suspension settings would go for a toss and also it would put pressure onto your valve and valve stem because the air pressure would increase with temperature that is if you're filling in regular compressed air but if you fill in nitrogen nitrogen would not react so easily with temperature changes so that is where if you fill 30 psi it will probably remain 30 psi only even under extremely hot situations and there is a general huge myth that is p 
people say i would like to fill nitrogen but the nitrogen which is supplied by a fuel station it is pretty far away from my home so now if i fill nitrogen in both my tires and after two months if i have to top it up and i am somewhere out on the road and if i don't file nitrogen then what will i do how can i fill regular air inside you know many people have been told that if you have nitrogen in your tires and if you have to fill regular air then you have to first deflate the whole nitrogen and then fill in regular air that is crap <laughs> no because as i already mentioned air regular air is about 70% nitrogen correct so if i have filled 30 psi in my rear tire and 25 psi in my front it's been two and a half months i am planning to go on a long ride and the fuel station is too far if i wish to top up the air in my tires i can go to a regular fuel station and fill in and top up regular compressed air along with nitrogen already inside it is absolutely fine okay so these are the main primary points and uh, that's it friends if you have any questions let me know and if you're not subscribed to me you're missing out on close to 570 videos i'm also there on facebook and instagram the links are in the description of this video bye 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 bye